Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gersh One, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today we continue talking about the Sisters of Battle as we talk about the Order's Dialogus. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We post Warhammer 40K content every single day. And of course, if you have any suggestions for topics that you guys would like us to create a video about, comment down below. But with that said, let's get into 40 Facts on the Sisters Dialogus. The Order's Dialogus is one of the non-militant orders of the Adeptus Sororitas. They are considered the most learned of scholars, especially in the field of both human and Xenos linguistics. The Order's Dialogus are divided amongst the Covenant Sanctorum of Ophelia VII, which includes the Order of the Holy Word and the Order of the Quill, and the Covenant Prioris, Antera, which includes the Order of the Sacred Oath and the Order of the Lexicon. Of all three most well-known non-militant orders of the Adeptus Sororitas, the Order's Dialogus is one of the least often seen, revered within the Adeptus Ministorum as some of the most learned people in the Ecclesiarchy. The Sisters Dialogus generally keep to themselves. Their tasks are many and varied, as they translate the innumerable dialects and slangs of Low Gothic used throughout the Imperium. At the behest of the Inquisition and certain other parties in the Imperial Hierarchy, they also study Xenos language and translate text obtained from recovered Xenos artifacts. Sisters Dialogus are often employed by sage acolytes in the Order Hereticus Inquisitor Retinus. The average Sister Dialogus might be fluent in several hundred everyday human dialects and dozens of secret cants, ciphers, and even Xeno tongues. The Sisters of the Order's Dialogus are amongst the very few judged sufficiently pure and incorruptible to withstand the deceit with the Eldar often used in dealing with mankind. It is the duty of the accompanying Sister Dialogus to inform an Imperial official of the true meaning and implication of the alien's tongue. Sisters Dialogus often work alongside both Sisters of the Order Familius and the agents of the Inquisition. Their skills at deciphering ancient Imperial records greatly aid the work of the Order's Familius when delving into the very early days of the Imperium's noble bloodlines. When serving alongside throne agents of the Inquisition, Sister Dialogus are often required to attend interrogations, especially those of Xenos captives, to serve as translators. Inquisitors heading into places that speak new or unusual dialects often seek them out for their skills in unblocking ciphers and translating languages. Though they specialized in languages and processing information, Sisters Dialogus are just as martially trained and fanatically devote to the Imperial Creed as the Battle Sisters. Sisters Dialogus are talented and extremely diligent in caring for the records they are entrusted with and guarding the secrets of the Ecclesiarch and the Sisterhood. They understand better than anyone that knowledge is useless if it is not acted upon. Any extended field assignment which either the Inquisition or the Ecclesiarchy grants them a unique opportunity to experience the diversity of the Imperium firsthand and to use their knowledge to actively hunt down heretics and pry their secrets from them. They also know that the information they seek and guard comes with the eternal threat of temptation. It has been drummed into them that they cannot fail in their duties, because when condemned knowledge falls into the hands of the unwary, catastrophe often follows. Only when their linguistics or cipher-breaking skills are required will a sister dialogus generally leave their data stacks. There has been occasions where a full mission is sent to retrieve data, though this is rare because the risk involved in letting a sister with access to sacred and secret information out into the open is very high and has to be authorized by the covenant. This has led the dialogus to be much more cloistered and in some ways naive to other orders. When on active field duty with the order militant or the ordo hereticus, the dialogus are generally used in a support role as communication or scientific experts. Field agents are likely to hear them only at the other end of a vox link as they provide detailed information on the enemy. Another aspect of the Sisters of the Ordo Dialogus is that they are some of the best information gatherers in the Sororitas. Respected for their translation skills, they often work in data repositories and thus have access to new sources of information. 
Both the Ecclesiarchy and the Inquisition used this detailed information to sniff out potential threats to the Imperial Creed and the Imperium. While the Sisterhood has frowned on the Inquisition's use of dialogous service, their efforts had led to the discovery and destruction of numerous Chaos cults. Within a given sector of Imperial space, there is often a large concentration of Sisters of the Ordo Dialogus, housed in a formidable preceptory known as a Sanctum Dialogus. These preceptories are usually guarded by a thousand battle sisters and sometimes a squadron of Imperial Navy warships in close orbit. No one within the Dialogus will ever reveal the secrets held within its vaults under penalty of death, though it is generally believed by outsiders that these vaults hold all manner of heretical and xeno texts which have been or are currently being fully translated into High Gothic. And those were 40 facts on the Sisters Dialogus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media you guys use. Um, I hope or I wish that I had a sister to uh, explain to me how to pronounce Dialogus. Because I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong. But yeah, comment down below. You guys would definitely correct me. So I guess as a collective, you commenters down below are part of the Sisters Dialogus. So thank you guys. Um, but again, guys, if you have any requests for other topics of Warhammer 40k that you guys would like to see from us, don't hesitate to comment down below. As well as, um, you know, if you guys have any questions about uh, the Sisters of Battle or any other topic in Warhammer 40k, comment down below. We're going to be down there in the comments answering questions and what have you. Um, and this is a good, goodest time as any to announce the winner of the awesome Dreadnought. So the winner to the uh, subscriber appreciation giveaway for the Primaris Redemptor Dreadnought is this guy. Thank you all of you guys that participated. Um, you know, we, we do giveaways quite a lot and we're going to do uh you know more giveaways towards the end of the month towards you know the closer we get to halloween so just stay tuned now as far as the winner just um either message us uh right here on youtube or go to facebook and message us there uh, or you could also email us at one mind syndicate the number one at gmail.com um hit us up and we'll get you your prize um thanks for everything guys and i'll see you tomorrow this is gershwan with one mind syndicate signing out Oh, <laughs> out.